Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to stack or layer letters in Illustrator CC. You can use this technique for, you know, monograms, logos, if you're playing with typography, layouts, you know, it's heaps useful. And I'm gonna show you a quick way to do it just using the Shape Builder tool. But you can see here, if I zoom in, you can see this nice layered, I'm using two letters. It can be a sans serif or a serif, whatever you wanna use, or even a slab serif as well. And you can see there, it's got a nice depth to it and it's got a bit of a shadow and it looks nice. It's blended well together. It will be great for like a logo um, for a business, or something like that. And it looks really cool. So I'm gonna go jump on another artboard. I wanna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna press T for the type tool. I'm gonna click once and I'm just gonna scale this up. At the moment, I'm using Questa Grand Medium. This is in the type kit. So if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you can get these fonts and there's plenty of cool fonts here. But I'm just using this one for today because it's kind of elegant, kind of nice. And it's got like organic curves to it. So I'm going to press an S and a H. Make sure it's a caps. I'll scale it. And you can use other letters, you know. I just love playing with an S and the H. It's the contrast there of the straight form and the curvy form. It looks really nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to type in the top left corner and press create outlines. This is going to turn the letters or the type into a shape. From this, I'm going to go to object and go ungroup. So now these are two separate shapes like this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to color this S and I'm going to drag the S into the middle there. So it fits nice and tight, nice and good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make duplicates of these shapes. Because you don't want to damage the original shape when we're using the Shape Builder tool, it's going to minus parts off it, so it's good to keep those intact. So I'll hold Shift, select both of them, and press Control C, Control F to paste in front. And you can lock those bottom ones if you want, but for now we'll just leave it. So what I'm going to do, I want to make this bottom bit come over the crossbar in the middle there. So I want to make it come over. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the H and the S by holding Shift and just left clicking. And I'm going to press the button on the left, which is the Shape Builder tool. The shortcut is Shift M for that. And what I'm going to do now is start to plus things. But what I want to do, I just want to quickly select the same color as the S on my swatches. So when I start to plus these shapes together, it's going to keep that same color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plus all these shapes right here. So I'm going to left click and just drag through like that, as you can see there. It's plus that, I'm gonna plus this. And we can leave the tails there of the serifs behind that. So now you can see it's sort of coming out under that those letters there, coming un out and then under again. So it adds a bit of depth, it's really nice. And you can see these little, if you don't like these little bits, you can go ahead and like delete those if you want, right, to make it more you know peeling or dynamic but for now i'm just gonna leave that but now you can see if i drag this letter away you can see the original letters are intact so you can see this sh these shapes here it's still the parts but it just got the minus bits off so it's pretty much acting as our you know cover off of that so it's being in place of the where the shape's meant to be which is super cool. So now we've pretty much done that and that was pretty simple and we can add some more detail. We can add texture, we can add a uh, shadow and we'll add a quick shadow just to give it a bit more depth. So I'll select this shape again and you can see this bit here, we wanna make it feel like the shape is popping up and it's casting a shadow. So it's you're adding sort of a layer, you're adding depth to make it a bit more 3D. So I'm just going to select this shape, hold Alt and Shift and drag it down a little bit to copy it, right? And what I'm gonna do now is go to my transparency panel, go to the blending mode, click multiply, and I'll change it to about 50%. And I wanna bring it up to the front to make sure it's gonna cast the shadow on the shape there. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to make sure we select this shape, this shape and the H as well. And what I'm gonna do is use the shape builder tool again and we don't want a shadow here in the middle where there's n like nothing. So we're going to minus that bit off. 
Oh man, ist das wieder? Oh man, ist das wieder? And oh man, ist das wieder? You can see there's some extra bits. We'll delete that, delete that, delete that. Now I'm just going to bring it down. I'm going to bring this bit up. Now I'll just lock that. And I want to... The shadow layer we just made, we want to make sure that's under. So I just brought it up. So it's above the H and it's just below this um, S shape here. I'm just going to unlock it. So you want to make sure it's just below this S shape here. So it's got that shadow now. Like that, you can see there. And it makes it look really cool, 3D, and makes it look awesome. And we can put some texture, we can, you know, add more to the background if you want, but we can just keep it simple. And yeah, that's how you make a nice stack letters. It's a cool monogram with the S and the H, and you should give it a go, try it out. So if you like this tutorial, let me know in the comments below, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe because I post content every week.